What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is America's top 10 most dangerous highways. Interesting. Highways, that's like... Motorways and stuff, okay. I believe. Uh, we call motorways in the UK, uh, mainly your fastest roads, isn't yeah. it? Normally three lanes in the UK. You're yeah. fast, medium, slow lane yeah. pretty much. And uh, yeah, are you ready? It should be interesting. Smash that like button guys, smash that subscribe button. I'm guessing this is going to be like on a based on stats of crashes. crashes incidents insurance claims or yeah. something like that you know so are you ready i am really smash that like button guys smash the subscribe button we keep mentioning subscribing because the more we mention it the more you guys subscribe funny enough and we would seriously appreciate it so smash that subscribe button you may not even be subscribed when you think you are so we'd appreciate if you check out are you ready yes let's check out america's top 10 most dangerous highways what we got today guys we're going to be talking about america's 10 most dangerous highways i'm ready An article that i recently came across by a website called the zebra they okay. listed the top 10 most dangerous highways in America. We're going to take a look at this list, and I'll give well, my thoughts about the highways on the list and personal experiences. Idiot drivers, aren't they? Some people are idiot drivers. First things first, the methodology that the Zebra used to compile this list was from the National Highway and Safety Transportation Association okay. and the Fatality Analysis Reporting System, or FARS. They broke it down by fatalities per 100 miles based on 2019 data. The article will be linked in the description hey, if you want to check it out. Oh, wow. At number 10 on the list is not only the most surprising, but also the only non-interstate highway on the list, US-41. Okay. That's US-41 a long one. is a long major north-south highway that runs from Miami, Florida to the UP of Michigan. Along the way, it passes through major cities such as Tampa, Atlanta, Nashville, Chicago, and Milwaukee. As is the case with many U.S. highways, U.S. 41 does not have a certain standard for its length. It can range from a two-lane rural highway, such as through the Florida Everglades, to a major surface boulevard, to a quasi-freeway in Lakeshore okay. Drive wow. through Chicago, to an actual freeway in concurrency with interstate one highways yeah, that's such crazy. as Interstate 41 in Wisconsin. According to the article, U.S. 41 had 141 fatalities in 2019, 7.02 fatalities per 100 miles. I guess Many you of the fatalities. Kind of think a road that long is going to there's going to be incidents along yeah. it. It is 2,008 miles long. That's crazy. That is incredible. That is mental. These on U.S. 41 can be attributed to the snow and ice on the northern end of the route and okay. the portion through the Tampa Bay area as Hillsborough County is known for having the highest traffic fatality rate in the entire country. Oh, Number wow. nine on the list is Interstate 80. Interstate 80 is a transcontinental <laughs> interstate like, highway that stretches all the way from the New York City area to San Francisco, California. It is the second longest interstate highway in the entire country, only behind Interstate 90. Other cities along the route include Cleveland, Chicago, Toledo, Just all the US. <laughs> Iowa, Salt Lake City, Reno and Sacramento. I-80 had a total of 209 fatalities in 2019 and That's a rate of 7.21 fatalities per 100 miles. Oh, which is around the well. interstate I know every year. to say that a majority of its fatalities are concentrated in the New York, Chicago, and San Francisco metro areas. During winter months, icy weather in the Chicago, Cleveland, and New York areas can be credited with the increase in fatalities. Drive safe, Number guys. eight Drive is safe. Interstate 70, another long all Not as long, coast to coast no. interstate. I 70 runs from I 15 near Cove Fort, Utah to its humble ending at a parking ride just inside the Baltimore City <laughs> wow. limits on the East That's Coast. It is the fifth longest a interstate London highway and runs through cities such as Denver, Topeka, Kansas, Kansas City, St. Louis, Indianapolis, Columbus, Pittsburgh, and Baltimore. Okay. I 70 had 158 fatalities in 2019 wow. at a rate of 7.35 per 100 miles. A famous stretch of I 70 is a section in Colorado. The section of Glenwood it? Canyon yeah. in particular God, was I think not this is only, until 19. This is only the top 10. So these first titles, you've got to add them up together yeah. in theory just to get the top 10 ones, and then you've got all the other roads. How many deaths actually is? I know sometimes you can't always help it. It's weather related yeah. sometimes, but a lot of it potentially it's comes down to bad driving. Bag driving, and unfortunately, a lot of the fatalities maybe people who've done nothing wrong. Yeah. So just think about that That's when you're driving. Everyone always says, you know, you you can be the safest person in the world, but that doesn't stop other people crashing into. Exactly, you can't account for bad drivers, yeah. can you? So it is super, super dangerous. Yeah. 1992 and goes through some of the most difficult terrain in the entire interstate highway system. It features several steep grades, along Ooh. with some sharp corners that aren't mm -hmm. in line with typical interstate standards. Outside of Colorado, I-70 serves as the main east-west freeway through many of the cities it passes through, which likely increases its fatality rate due to those urban stretches in St. Louis, Kansas City, Columbus, and Indianapolis. 
Yeah. The number seven highway is one that I'm very familiar with personally, Interstate 40. Interstate 40 is a transcontinental huge. interstate highway stretching from Wilmington, it? North Carolina to Barstow, California. It passes through cities along the way, such as the Raleigh and Durham Triangle area, the Greensboro, Winston-Salem area, Knoxville, Nashville, Memphis, Little Rock, Oklahoma City, Amarillo, Texas. You don't even and have to Albuquerque, turn off the road New Mexico. to get to I actually inside. traveled this One highway in its near entirety back in the day, driving my car from my home state of North Carolina to my duty station in Southern California. A famous quote from CBS journalist Charles Curell, upon completion of I-40 in 1990, stated, Thanks to the interstate highway system, it is now possible to travel from coast to coast without seeing anything. I can confirm those sentiments <laughs> as once you pass Memphis, this highway becomes significantly more desolate and empty. The Zebra article listed 253 fatalities for 2019, <laughs> along with a rate of 9.89 That's per mad, 100 That's miles. Just... While I-40 doesn't go through as many large metro areas as some of the other highways, it does pass through a lot of difficult terrain. Particularly Ooh, through the Great Smoky Mountains though, of North it looks Carolina, nice, Tennessee, it seems all different where rock slides are common you go, yeah. to make the road treacherous or even impassable at times. Oh, I-40 wow. is also one of the heaviest truck corridors in the U.S. in the midst Ooh. of vehicles can contribute to Ooh. the fatality rate. At number six on the list, Interstate 15, a major north-south interstate highway. Going from San Diego, California to the Canadian border at Sweetgrass, Montana. Along the way, I-15 passes through the Inland Empire portion of the greater Los Angeles region, Las Vegas, and Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay. I-15 had 158 total fatalities and a rate of 1102 per 100 miles. Ah, Upon mad. first glance, one would notice that I-15 is much shorter than the east-west interstates on the yeah. list yeah. so far, and also only travels through a few large metro areas mm -hmm. in comparison. The high fatality rate is likely due to the California portion of the route. I-15 oh, travels through mountainous terrain between San Diego and the Inland Empire, experiences heavy traffic in the area, and then proceeds to a long and dangerous stretch between here and Las Vegas. North wow. of Las Vegas, things quiet down significantly and it becomes a route less travel. It has been a while since I drove on I-15, but that section in the Inland Empire was one that I often dreaded driving. Now we move on to the top five, you can't control out people yeah. do, Interstate can you? 35. Another major north south <laughs> route. There's so many super there's so long roads. It runs from the Mexican border in Laredo, <laughs> Texas to Duluth, Minnesota. Along the way, it passes through the major metros of San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, Des Moines, Iowa, and the Minneapolis St. Paul area. I 35 had 137 fatalities in 2019 and a rate of 12.56 fatalities wow, per 100 miles. Crazy. The zebra says that it's the big higher. contributors to I 35 stats are that it goes through all of the largest cities in Texas outside of Houston and carries a very heavy amount of truck traffic, being a near border to border interstate highway. One thing of note is that it is the only interstate that travels through Austin, a fast growing oh, city wow. of over 800,000 people. So it is likely attracting a lot of drivers in it's that in Texas, area. Isn't it? Next up yeah. is another interstate that I'm quite Growing familiar population. with, and that is Interstate 75. I-75 covers a large so amount of territory from the Miami Metro in South Florida to the Canadian border in Sault Ste. Marie, <laughs> Michigan. Along this route are the major areas of Fort oh, Myers geez. in Sarasota, Florida, Tampa, Atlanta, Cincinnati, and Detroit. I-75 had a total of 237 fatalities in 2019 and a rate of 13.27 per 100 that's just miles. Yearly. The zero oh, no. attributed All these a large amount well. of those it's fatalities mad. to icy winter conditions in Michigan that makes sense. and the portions of I-75 yeah. on the west coast of Florida. Fort Myers and Sarasota were mentioned, along with Tampa being the worst of all, with Hillsborough County, which contains Tampa, being cited as the most dangerous county wow. in wow. the entire country. Surprisingly, the Atlanta area wasn't mentioned along with the Florida portion. With some of the crazy driving I've seen in Atlanta, Ooh. it speaks volumes to See, how much worse the driving must be on driving. the Florida stretch of I-75. Now to number three. We are back on the West Coast, and it is none other than the main highway of the West Coast, okay. Interstate 5. Interstate 5 travels from border to border. Why is one? I want to know where one Diego, is. Yeah. To the Canadian border in Blaine, Washington. Along the way, it passes through or near major metro areas such as San Diego, Los Angeles, the San Francisco Bay Area, Sacramento, Portland, and Seattle. I-5 mm. had 186 fatalities in 2019 and 13.47 fatalities road, per yeah. 100 miles. As with I-15, the majority of I-5's fatalities occur in California. 
The portion wow. in San Diego County was cited as the most dangerous section, along with sections in the Los Angeles and Sacramento areas being major contributors. Being mm. an interstate that fully runs between each international border, I-5 also carries a large amount of truck traffic. And okay. the zebra says this adds quite a bit to the auto fatalities. Makes sense. At yeah. number two, we are almost done. And the highway in question though. is Interstate 20. Interstate 20 runs from I-95 in Florence, South Carolina to its western end at I-10 in West Texas. I-20 runs through Columbia, South Carolina, Atlanta, Birmingham, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi, Shreveport, Louisiana, and the Dallas-Fort Worth <laughs> Metroplex. I-20 has 108 total fatalities oh, and 13.52 per 100 miles. It hits a lot of Mississippi. Yeah. Out of I-5. The zebra cited high traffic areas More such as Dallas, Jackson, and Atlanta as major contributors to its fatality rate. While it might be surprising to see a smaller metro like Jackson on the list, I can confirm that the stretch of I-20 through that area is quite constrained, pothole filled, and felt very unsafe compared to most other highways. So I can see why things might be deadly in that area. I Birmingham, well, on the other hand, was no let us in the comments because these roads are so long, and like maybe they're just not getting enough maintenance because mm -hmm. it is just one continuous road. Yeah. Or some of them like worse for wear. Maybe they're just yeah they're not maintained as well. You have more accidents because they're not. Because he said about potholes, could blow a tire in a pothole, swerve off or something like yeah. you know what I mean? So let us know in the comments, are they worse condition in some parts of the country because it's such a long road, which potentially adds to this number, yeah. you know what I mean? No, see, absent, which may possibly be due to the recent widening and improvements on I-20 through that area. Who would have thought it would be safer to drive in Alabama than Texas? Now, mm -hmm. the moment you've all been waiting for, the only well-known highway left at this point to no one's surprise, the mighty Interstate 95. Okay. Coming in at number one on the list, I-95 travels up mm. the U.S. East Coast from the tropical palm trees in downtown Miami to the icy forests of Holton, Maine. But one mode. Canadian border. <laughs> I-95 so carries more traffic than any other highway and travels through or near more populated areas than any other highway by oh, wow. far. After Miami, it runs through Jacksonville, Florida, Savannah, Georgia, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Richmond, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New Jersey, New York City, and Boston wow. before coming back down to a quiet freeway through Maine. I-95 clocked in at number one in both total fatalities and fatality rate with 284 14 fatalities and 14.88 per 100 miles. In addition to the sheer density of population that I-95 serves, the zebra says that much of the deadliness on I-95 can be attributed to icy conditions in the Northeast winters and drivers on the east coast of Florida, out. particularly in Jacksonville and Brevard County. I noticed that I-95 in South Carolina wasn't mentioned, but perhaps that's because on that section of I-95, you'll be barely moving due to all the congestion. Personally, that's my last trip on I-95 in South Carolina involves sitting in stop-and-go traffic from the I-26 junction all the way to the Georgia state line. Time to step your game up, South Carolina. <laughs> all right, guys, there we have it, the most dangerous highways in America. Were you surprised by any of the highways on the list or by the order? What has? I'm not surprised by any of the list because I, I don't, don't know think, anything. We don't know, yeah. do we? But I'm surprised it's so high. I'm, su I'm surprised it's so high yearly and not like overall. I thought maybe that at the start, maybe that was just their fatalities recorded. Yeah, yeah but it's mental, isn't but it? The fact, and I bet you from 2019, that's probably gone up yearly as well. Probably as well. More people on the roads. More people on the road, probably more idiot drivers but, yeah. as well. Um, and like I say, not everyone, not every fatality is because an idiot driver. There is a lot of like yeah, natural. But I would say ones. probably more. Some it's human error. Definitely more than likely, isn't it? Usually? Yeah, and you can do you can do precautions to try and avoid it, yeah. can't you? And sometimes, unfortunately, the fatalities come from people that drive safely. Yeah, exactly, and it is a shame. Um, but smash that button if you enjoy it, guys. Smash the subscribe yeah. button as well. Let's. I, I think someone suggested a long time ago. I've remembered it during this video. A video on how interstate stuff like actually yeah. work in terms of the, the number and stuff like that. So if you want us to check that out, let us in the comments because we'd understand mm -hmm. it a lot more. It might help us on Geo yeah. as well. But the, the length of the roads were incredibly long. I did yeah, not realise there were so many which were just state to state. You, you can stay on one road and get from California to New York. It's I like, know. what? Like how? Not even turning off like it's mental. Smash that like button if you enjoyed, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well. And watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.